I'm Mary Silver. I'm running for City Council, Council District 2. Uh, I have spent 20 years uh, advocating for our schools. I went from class mom to PTA president to the school board to the community board to the advisory board for uh, the 30th Street Men's Home Shelter. And along the way, I focused on performing arts because despite what our controller says, while there are arts teachers, there are no performing arts teachers or very rarely are there performing arts teachers in our schools. However, many of our schools do have, as Jasmine mentioned, uh, lots of performance space. Uh, I just spent the last several years uh, raising about a million dollars for our public schools to create performance space in uh, elementary school and in a uh, high school as well, Baruch College Campus High School. Uh, it's all about community relationships. I think that one of the biggest problems for the indie theater is a PR problem, if I may say that. I think that uh, New York City doesn't appreciate the kind of work that you do uh, and that we need to work together to make sure that you are on the forefront of performance as you have been for many, many years. So in my mind, it really is pragmatic to look at schools. Those opportunities are there and the students would benefit from you coming in and teaching them. I know there's a model in Queens that works right now. Uh, we need to make sure through awareness that we expand those ideas. I also think in terms of senior centers, this would be a perfect match uh, for uh, performance space and for seniors to develop workshops, not only in the schools, but for seniors, many of them who have performing arts backgrounds themselves. So this would really be a very good fit. And um, I, wanna <laughs> I wanna be your city council member. And as somebody who has a background in the arts, I used to roam these streets. Uh, working for artists and performers, and I know where the, the hidden gems are, and there are plenty of them, so thank you. <laughs>
and you're starting to make them aware that artists are looking for space. They're looking for affordability. Uh, we have that for our veterans. Uh, when, when we talk about mandatory inclusionary housing, we allocate space for our veterans. Um, I would like to get to the point where your community boards have that in their heads that you're looking for that space, you need that affordable space, and that they should be making those same allocations for our artists. Uh, artists transform neighborhoods. I lived on Bleecker Street for many years uh, and watched Greenwich Village be the hottest place in town, and then artists couldn't afford to live there anymore. And they kept getting pushed out and pushed out uh, and continuing to transform neighborhoods and real estate uh, developers following them and prices increasing as a consequence. So I think it's your turn. I think it's your turn to ask for affordability and for participation in your community boards and their decision making when it comes to, to space that you're entitled to. So I wanna underscore political activism. That's how you're gonna get stuff done. Thank you. I want to thank all of you for being here today, and I want to tell a little bit more about my background. I really got my political education in the schoolyard, and when we were experiencing $200,000 in budget cuts uh, every year, it was clear to me that I had to reach out to elected officials, and I had to reach out to community organizations, and I want to emphasize that again. Uh, as a consequence, we brought the New York Theater Ballet into uh, local schools, uh, as well as uh, the Turtle Bay Music School, all around you are opportunities for partnerships. So I wanna make clear that um, we can accomplish what we need by looking around us. Sometimes we just miss out on the obvious in terms of how we can work together as a community and bring resources to a school or a senior center or provide uh, uh, performing space for you as a consequence of those partnerships. I also wanna say I'm uh, a supporter and uh, uh, participant in the Triangle uh, Fire. It is uh, a new one-act opera that just uh, premiered in New York City on Sunday. You're all invited, March 25th. Uh, 1911 was the Triangle Shirtwaist Factory Fire, and I wanna tell you to go to Waverly Place uh, at NYU at University Place, and it's a wonderful event. So be there, please. <laughs>